Okay, I'm going to um, do her hair, and I'm using three pencils. So the first one is dark brown. Let me get them all situated here so you can see them. Is a four or nine four six, and then this one is the um, beige peach or peach beige, <laughs> whichever one you want to read. And that is 1085, and then the last one is terracotta, and it is the 944. And I'm just using these to color hair, and what I do is I start with the dark brown first, and just kind of go in where the shadows are, kind of dark, and then just kind of very lightly bring it down, out a little bit. And in the shadow again, bringing it up here. And shadowing it out. Then I take the terracotta and the same thing, just kind of going over it. Bringing it up a little higher. And then going in with the peach and doing the highlight. And then going back in with the dark. Making sure you get the areas dark enough. And then we will work on our next section. And then the terracotta. And then the beige. And basically that's how I'm going to be doing the whole head. <laughs> so we'll do another piece here the dark terracotta And then the beige pink, hard beige peach. And then back in to give it just a few strokes. So, don't know how much of this you want to see. <laughs> but, um, basically that's all I'm going to be doing till her hair is done. So I'll do this last strand and then I'll do the rest off camera and come back and show you how I do the rest of it. Um, like the pearls in her hair and then I have to decide on the uh, package, what color I want to do it in. So I will be back. Okay, I know it's upside down, but I thought I'd show you. I'm doing the top of the hair now. Kind of going in between the little um, pearls or whatever you want to call <laughs> what she's got in her hair. 
still just doing it the same way, but darkening it where the hair bunches. So on these lines here. And getting as close to those little pearly things as possible. And I'll just finish this up for you. I'm still doing the same thing with the three pencils. Sorry if you're hearing the neighbor's dogs getting a little... Believe me, it's not hurt. That's the way that particular pup barks. Gets excited when he sees squirrels. <laughs> and then just go back in with the um, peach one. And the highlight. And then black back in, sorry, with the darkest brown. And all I'm doing here is kind of leaving the illusion of hair strands. So basically, we only have one row left. <laughs> so we'll get that done. And then I'll do something else. I'll turn her around so you can see what her hair looks like. It'd be nice if we could just stick our hair up like that and have it. <laughs> That's day. Yeah, I'd have to use a heck of a lot of hairspray and lots of bobby pins. Okay, I'm just going to kind of touch up and add a little more of the terracotta up here just so it matches down here a little more. Not putting much pressure on that at all. Just want the color up there. So I think I put it down here a little more. Okay.
I could probably sit here for hours <laughs> messing with this, as I tend to do. But I'm going to call it done. And then what we have left is the package and the snow down at the ground level down here. So this I'm just going to do on a very, very pale uh, blue around the edges. And then on the snow and her fur, which is going to be a, like a light blue around the edges, I'm going to either uh, do a stickle effect to give that some glitter. The package is the only thing I'm having um, an issue with because I have the pinks and the blues and the greens down here. I want the package kind of a either gray and a pink or a gray and brown or brown and something. <laughs> so I have to think about that. Okay, so I've decided that we're going to do the package in kind of a brown paper wrapping with a pretty ribbon on it. So I am going to start down here in this corner and I'm working with Sienna and this is a scholar pencil. So the number for this is three, four, five and I'm just going to go around the edges here and then bring it in real light excuse me for a minute okay sorry my husband's leaving the house to go pick up my son so that's what the yelling was about if you heard it <laughs> okay so then we just can leave the this area here open because that's where the ribbon is gonna fall over. And here is a little darker. I'll probably use a darker brown. In this also. And then kind of the shadow here. And her ruffle goes down here so that I'm pretty sure that's a ruffle, but it could be. No, oh, we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> So I'm just going to color this in lightly. I would use Distress Ink in here, but the colors I have and the area that I need to color in is a little small for that.
And then we're up on the top here. I'm not quite sure what that line is, but I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> Come up, do that. Okay. And now kind of darken the areas. A little more here, give them more definition. And give it a little darker coloring. So that's seeing I need to find a darker brown which okay got the uh, dark brown and we're just gonna put in here darken up the shadowy spots Then in And that's just kind of how I'm going to do it, is just darkening it in certain areas and then I'll go over it with the, um, And make it darker. Maybe put in a the crinkle or two because it's a paper. Might need some crinkling. So again, it's just darkening the areas. Just like that, and then I will have to figure out the ribbon. I know it's going to have uh, stickles or something in it, just because it needs it. <laughs> and color 
I go this way, so this probably should be blue. So I'm going to leave that alone. No, that's not very exciting. I'm watching me color a box. <laughs> Lay music down for you. I'm bored to death here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to finish the box off uh, camera and then I'll get back to you when I do the ribbon. Okay, I'm just going to add if I can get the side of this pencil to work. Just some lines in here. And if you do it, you know, a look of uh, weathered paper. have to come up with a oh this is the um, beige just plain old beige <laughs> just to give it a lighter look here and there ribbon color and I need to get some blue for her um, excuse me for a second okay I got to um, Put a little blue down here under her just a little bit here just so you can get the look of that I'm also going to go down here and just outline the snow down here in blue a light blue uh, this is sky blue the regular color, scholar color, light blue. It's kind of a darkish light blue, but <laughs> it'll do my purpose. And I don't see any other snow down here. And her outfit's going to get a little of the blue up here too. Just a little bit because the stickles will.
Okay, a little blue on there. Dots here. We'll go back and get that better. So, uh, her ribbon. I can do the hem. Gold is what I would like to do it in, so that'll be a yellow and an orange and a brown color. Okay, I've got my pencils all over my desk. <laughs> I'm trying to get some room here. Uh, gold is not going to work, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is use cool grays. 10%, 50%, and 70%. Numbers coinciding as 1059, 1063, and 1065. So the lightest color gray is going to go down the uh, center here. So I'm going to go for kind of a silverish color. And the cool grays should have a blue tone to them, which will go nicely. So I'll lay that down. I'm not going to worry about going over the dots because I'm going to probably put those down on a white Posca pen anyway. Okay, so next we're going to go with the 50%. And I want to get on the sides. And lighten up as we go in. And then the shadow area. And then on the very, very end, I'm going to go in with the darkest, which is the uh, 70%. And then after I get this all blended, I'm just going back over it with the lightest gray there is. And then again, the darkest on the edges. Okay, a little piece of it up here. Kind of skip the mid-tone there. Anyway, so that's how I'm going to just do um, the rest of the pieces here. Turn it this way, I can get both of those in there. So start with the lightest color. medium color
Okay, I need darkest color. And then mix it in with the lighter color again. And that is how that is going to look. And then I will be, uh, like I said, the Posca pen or stickles even make that shiny and that'll be silver ish okay <laughs> I have a silver metallic pen but I did not like the way that looked now I have these uh, Kelly art um, gel pens and this one is the blue uh, shimmer one and I'm gonna go around and trace the uh, snowflakes here and get them a blue color and some glitter. Turn this a little so I can see it a little better. It's kind of mimicking the uh, blue snowflakes that I put in the background. And the left one up here. Okay. Yeah, we can add some of these in blue dots. But the rest of them are going to be probably white. Give these a little sparkle. I might add some white in there also. And I have to do her little um, pearls in her hair still. When I covered her hair, I left those nice and white, so I didn't get any covering on that. And we'll do just a couple of these in blue, too. Go 
head and let's see what do I got left here <laughs> missing something. I know I need to do the dots here. I don't want to do them in the blue, that's for sure. Um, I kind of like her fur the way it is, but I'm still stickling things, so I'll get the stickles out. I have like half bottles of everything. <laughs> okay, I've got the diamond one, which is really sparkling, kind of has gold in it. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to do the stardust one, which is more like snow. Okay, I'm going to do, can you see this part where I can do her little snow outfit? And I'm just gonna smear it on here. Not gonna get her hands, hopefully. And just her outfit. And smear a little down here. Her cuffs. And her neck. Just keep her hair. Okay, that's nice and sparkly, and while I'm here, I'm going to do the centers and all the flowers. Okay, Let's see if I can't get this shake it down a little bit. And I'm going to do a little in the snow here. I'm really low on this. <laughs> there we go. Let's smear that around a little bit. And that gives us our sprinkling of snow here. And if I can get it to work good enough, I can do all the dots, but I don't know if I can get it out. That's a little too much. Add a few up here. Well, you get the hint. I'm just adding it around. I'm trying to get it to come down. My hand is not killing me. Like there's a little left in here, and I got a lot of dots to do.
pencils. I don't want you in the glue yet. Okay, here. And I think I got everything except for what's in her hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry and then decide if I want to put this in her hair or not and give my hand a break. <laughs> So this is what she looks like, and if you can see the glitter on her, I don't know if you can. And then down in the snow too. I mean, she glitters in front of me, but I don't know if you can see it. So that is what she ended up looking like, and what I'm going to do is take um, black pencils is black. <laughs> I got them all over my desk, rolling around, black, and I'm going to touch up her eye, so we're going to add a couple of the eyelashes back in here. And then if her mouth needs to be touched up too, I really shouldn't be doing this while it's wet. So that's what I will be doing is just touching up her eyelashes, making sure all her black lines are in dark enough for me to see. And then I will take a picture of her all finished and post it at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and staying with the process. Three videos in. <laughs> really appreciate it. So I hope you all have a great day. Bye now.